Hello everybody, Raven Knight here. Got a very, very funny series of duel matches to share with you guys. So the other night I was doing a stream and I had to get my duel orders done and I come across this shaman and it seems like a pretty typical match. I'm going to play a Sohei because I'm really close to completing an order so I thought that I could complete the order while fighting this shaman. Now we're going to start by talking about what happens with the shaman match and then when we go into the next match I'll tell you why this gets funny. So right off the bat um, I notice that there's a bit of an issue. This shaman is... The shaman gives me a nice salute, then we get, start the fight, and this shaman is incredibly aggressive, like way more aggressive than I'm used to with a shaman, and what I mean by that is, you'll notice that this shaman constantly runs out of stamina, like, this shaman is not afraid to just wail and run out of stamina, and I think it's because they're really good at turtling up, so when they're out of stamina, they're good at just uh, blocking and avoiding basic attacks, and against Sohei, that's pretty safe since Sohei has so little pressure. Um, but again, running right out of stamina. So if I had a character who could put out more pressure than that, uh, I think this would have gone a lot easier for me. But Shaman's a pretty strong character in the first place, so I'm already not doing too great. And so, hey, as said before, is just hard to use right now. So I lost. Pretty standard. Um, but... Oh, and you'll also notice, you may hear me in the background. That's because, like I said, I am streaming and it recorded my voice. I'm trying to turn it down a little bit so that you can hear me now over it myself. Um, but I'll try to keep the volume down to a reasonable amount. So we go into this next round. I give a salute, but doesn't even let me finish the salute before attacking. This shaman just wants to get in there and get those hits in early. And I'm already kind of like, okay, really? Like, you could have let me finish the salute if that's what we're going to do it. Um, but you know, you're going to notice in the shaman that that's kind of something they do. Uh, actually what's funny is the shaman bleeds me a lot, but only once I think that they ever try to go for their bite, which <laughs> I think is really funny. Um, like <laughs> I don't think that they ever go for it one. Th there we go. Finally went for it. Finally went for it. I didn't know if it was in this round or the next one, but round two loss. This shaman is really good. There's no question. This shaman is really good. Very aggressive. I'm not used to shamans being that aggressive. Usually when I fight a shaman, they're trying to wait for like a deflect opportunity or waiting for me to make a mistake. But this shaman is really aggressive. So I decided to change up my play style. We salute again, but this time I'm ready because they're not willing to wait for me to do the salute. They're, they're going to attack even mid, even in the middle of mine. So kind of scummy, I won't lie, but that wasn't what made this so funny. Good guard break. Caught with the light. Another light. Throwing them lights and guard break. Caught with the light parry. I actually did read that. That was not a mistake. I actually read that. I'm not good at reading those kind of lights uh, usually, but that one I was kind of like, I see that coming. <laughs> Out of stam. Guard, counter guard break. Uh, I keep forgetting that shaman zones can catch you even if you're dodging. That's one thing Sohei needs. He needs more hyper armor. All right, get that hit in. Light, light parry, done. That, that, that's a lot better. I think that that was a lot better that time. Oh, glad I finally got that. So, beat him in that round, but I know that this fight probably isn't going to go my way. Um, so, we go into round four. This is, uh, is going to be the last round. I'll go ahead and give it away that they beat me in this round. But we still want to analyze it. We still want to understand what happened. Like, his moveset is so basic. That's what makes him so boring to play, but he's fine as is. I can't think of anything he needs. All right, so here we go. Doing the salute. This time they waited a minute, and they didn't just do a straight-up attack this time. They're trying to be a little bit more careful. Good parry. Bonk. Ah, I should have parried that. I know I should have parried that. And got me with the lights. Yep. This shaman, oh my god. All right, so we both give each other a good fight. All right, so... Won that round, they, they won it, it was a good fight, but I still have dual orders, so they want to duel me again. They come back for another round. This time they're playing Hitakiri, and you guys know how I feel about Hitakiri. But guys, when I say that Hitakiri is annoying, just watch this match, okay? Just watch this match, you will see why Hitakiri annoys the spitfire out of me and a lot of other people. Here we go. So, playing Nobushi, not a very strong character in duels to use, but... I wanted to get some work with Nobushi in because she's close to the next rep. And I thought that also, if they were going to play a bleed character, I might be able to keep them at a distance with her. But like I said, and here comes this heavy, 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 heavy. 
And out of stamina. Like, this person just blows through stamina to spam attacks. Heavy. 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 <laughs> tries to mix it up there. Heavy. <laughs> this is why Itakiri is so annoying. This is why I can't stand them. They could just throw these safe heavies without any risk. Oh, it's so irritating. So I was irritated at this point. So I was like, okay, all right. All right, if that's the way we're going to do it. If that's what we're going to do, it, we're just going to bleed you out. We're just going to bleed you out. So we go in the next round. Give us a salute. I'm not giving a salute back. I'm not giving a salute back. I'm irritated. <laughs> Hey, I can get irritated. Heavy. Guard break out of charge heavy. Kick. Heavy. Heavy. Caught him with the sidewinder. Caught him again. Heavy. Light. Dodge heavy. Catch it. Kick. All right. And now sidewinder. They're down. That ah, was close. <laughs> oh, I was so frustrated because I have so much trouble dealing with hit to curious, and I hate when it's just brain dead, just swinging, just constant swinging. There's no thought to it. It's just heavy, heavy, heavy. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, they come out to fight one more time. They do their emote. I decide to give them an emote now because I feel a bit better. Dodge kick. Now they're variable timing their heavies. Guard break. Kick them into the wall. Get the free heavy. Try to guard break. Doesn't work. They dodge heavy. I dodge the kick. I probably should have guard broken there. Heavy. <laughs> oh my gosh. I get executed. No fun of any kind here. Runs off into the corner. I don't know why I ran into the corner like that, but I do the same thing later, so I kind of pay back with that. All right, round four. I don't know, bro. I don't know, man. Run out to meet them. He does the emote. I'm not. I'm not going to fall for it. Dodge, dodge, block, counter guard break, light, heavy, kick, heavy, heavy, out of stamina. Like, this person has no regard for their own stamina. They will just waste all their stamina in the hopes of doing as much damage as they can. Block. Caught with the side light. Dodge. Heavy. Kick. Heavy. Kick. Heavy. 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 Kick. Caught him. <laughs> oh, that's so brain dead. I hate brain dead. <laughs> all right, we got him that time. Now it's now two and two. It's now two and two. Let's watch what happens. This this is where things get fun. This is where things get fun. Because at first, I'm very irritated that the way this Hitakiri is playing, but I'm also not like super upset or anything. It's just like, man, this is this is frustrating because I don't like playing against this kind of play style. Hit him first. Heavy. Kick. Heavy. Guard break. Heavy. Kick him again. All right. And out of stamina again. They never fall for my guard breaks. They never fall for that. Kick. Heavy. Light. Heavy. Got, caught it. Kick. Light. Caught him with the guard break. And heavy down. And I give him a good fight. They give me a good fight. And I do go, yes. And they don't like that. They go, wow. Like, hey, you know, I'm allowed to do that. I'm allowed. I'm allowed. Was it a little scummy? Maybe a little. But after I was dealing with a very rough heat to carry fight. Well, they're mad now. They're mad at me now. They want revenge. So they go Shugoki. I go heat to carry as well. Now, I don't like fighting Shugokis either. Uh, Shugokis are a lot more rough for me. I don't like fighting in this area either. So again, we just have heavy, heavy, guard break, knock me away, 
And I say this in the stream, but this person is playing very safe characters like Hitakiri, Shugoki, characters who can just swing for the fences and trust on their hyper armor to just help them out of any situation. Right. See, like, look, just heavy. Good, good, good uh, parry. And then I'm down. And what does he do? Watch this. Watch this. Salt. <laughs> you think I'm the salty one? Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. So he throws salt at me. Now, granted, granted, I did emote at the end of our last match. I will grant that. I, I emoted at the end of the last match. So, you know what? Fair crop. You get that. Now, here we go again. Heavy. Guard break. Heavy. Roll away. Good parry. Heavy. Like, he's just trusting that hyper armor to basically save him if I dodge. That's pretty much all he's doing. And catches me with the heavy. I get executed. Now, what does he do? Throw salt at me. Yes. Yeah, this guy's punched. This guy this guy's getting pretty salty. Like, look, here's the thing. Like I said, I did a mode at the end, but now he's giving me salt twice. Alright. Alright. Then it's everybody it's anybody's game. So we go into round three. Heavy. Heavy. Headbutt. Got him with the guard break. Good dodge. Heavy. Heavy. Got him with the kick. Headbutt. And he got me in the side, in the in the dodge heavy. I shouldn't have done the dodge heavy. So I give him a good fight. What a loser. He says good fight too. And it looks like we finally let bygones be bygones, right? Until what a loser. <laughs> there we go. Does the pout thing. All right. So I thought we were done. I thought, okay, I'm done with this guy. Let's move on. He got his revenge. Let's move on. But he wants to go again. He actually wants to go again. So now he's playing Highlander, another very safe character to play with his hyper armor. So I go Nutsha. I'm bringing in Lin Mei Hua for this one. And guys, it doesn't get more perfect than this. Watch this. So we get things started in the canopy. Take a few steps in. He emotes. I emote too. Now watch this the way this guy plays. I figured it out as we were fighting. This guy literally swings for the fences. He very rarely goes into his offensive stance. He mostly sticks to his defensive stance so he can take advantage of hyper armor and uh, it, like just uses hyper armor and enhanced attacks. That's what he wants to do. Catch him again. Got him with the light. Good fight. Walk away. And before y'all say that's toxic, he did the same to me earlier. So he gives me a good fight. It was all good. It's all good. Going around two. <clears throat> Sorry. Let's see how this goes. We emote. Caught him with the dodge light. Caught him in the guard break. Nope. Deflect, but again, that's why he goes for those hyper armor heavies, so that even if I deflect him, he can still swing through it. He's playing very safe. He's very tanky. So all I got to do is let him run out of stamina again. And got him with the light. I give him a good fight. Walk away and okay. Yeah, see, now, he, now he's not as happy anymore. He's not as, he's not as friendly anymore. <laughs> Y'all notice that? All right. So now nah, it gets better. <laughs> it gets better. Now, we're going to round three. I don't play quite as well this round three, but maybe we can analyze why. Maybe we can figure out why. All right, here we go. All right, that, that's part of it. I was trying to do my trap attacks, and that didn't work out so well for me. But look at him. He's just doing the same thing over and over, just swinging these, um, the, he's swinging these hyper armor uh, base heavies at me, very slow, and it's just insanity. All right, he, gets, he catches me with the crushing counter, and he gets me with the light. Now, what does he do? I give him a good fight, and him. 
offensive stance. Demo. He's going into his un, he's going into his with another. Life. Yeah, this guy's this guy's and he goes okay. So he's not happy. He's not happy. So let's see how he likes it when turnabout's fair prey. After all, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. Am I right? So let's see what happens. Nope. Catching with a light. Block his uh, crushing counter attempt. Counter guard break. Parry him. Because if he's just going to follow through with those, I'm just going to parry them. Catching with a light. Catches dodge. Get him with the light. And thanks, thanks, thanks. Emote. And what does he do? Yeah, you heard my response. I'll let you hear my response to that. Bro! Oof. That's a lot of oof. That's a very big oof, I gotta say. <laughs> uh, well, the moral of this story, there are two morals to this story. The first is, you know what, a little bit of trolling is okay, but if you're going to be toxic, if you're going to get salty, make sure you can deal with it when it's thrown back. And two, I gotta do, I, Lin Mei Hua is just awesome to play as, right? All right, anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, and as always, I will see you in my next video. Take care.